So on that last drive, uh, you know you're probably coming in for the go-ahead field goal. Uh, what's going through your head? Are you going through practice kicks? Just just take us inside the mindset. So I have the I have the same routine like that I do pretty much every time the ball uh, the offense gets the ball past 50. So I was trying to stick to that, but honestly. I was thinking, I wonder what my mom's doing up in the stands right there, right now. So that was floating through my head, and then I was just praying it out. Um, and really, I expected for some reason to get an opportunity to kick. I thought it was going to come down to that. Um, so I was just trying to get prepared. You all are, all the specialists are pretty loose on the sidelines. Obviously, during the game, kind of keeping, mm -hmm. you know, from getting too intense with it. Anybody say anything to you before that last run out? People, uh, in general, they, le they leave me alone um, just because they know. Like, it just kind of helps that we're in our own little world, that we're disconnected, just trying to have a good time. Uh, that makes kicking a lot easier um, when you just kind of disconnect from the score um, or the scenarios, and you can just focus on your job. So, in general, people do a really good job of just letting me be um, and letting me figure it out um, before I jog out there. Do you have any game winners at uh, Crosslands Christian in soccer? Uh, not like this. <laughs> Definitely not like this. As far as the last kick, do you have a preferred hash to kick from? Was it by design? Did probably you know? No, it was not by design, but I, I'm probably the left hash. Like, so right where it was. Um, I felt really confident from there. Um, so. Do you feel different this year? Just another year doing it and being perfect at this point and, and now having a game winner under your belt? Is there a different vibe for you? I mean, I, it feels very similar to last year. I think I, I'm a lot calmer. I um, mean, I think part of that is just being in the role for another year um, and getting to work with Brinkman and Grayson for another year. All of that really helps. Um, and to have that operation for multiple years now really calms me down. It seems like watching your kicks this season, they've been very composed right down the middle. Has there been any tweaks in your mechanics year to year that have paid off? There, there definitely have. I think right when I was a freshman, when I was young, I just tried to hit the ball as hard as I could. Um, and I think that's a temptation that kickers feel um, and something that's even taught is swing as hard as you can and let the results be what they are. Um, and I, I found that, I guess, coming from a soccer background, it's a lot more helpful for me to baby them in. And that's not always my, my swing thought, but in general, I try to stay really smooth and really calm. I um, mean, that's worked for me over the past couple of years. Is there like a different approach to a 50 plus yarder, like two different modes? Yes, absolutely. I'd have to, um, because like the kick I, I just hit from, I think it was 22, probably would have been good from 40. So there, ha there has to be a different approach. Um, but with those kicks, especially short kicks, I'd take accuracy over distance anytime. Is hey, so when a short kick like that any more nerve-wracking because it's, you know, the goalpost is right there? It can be. Tonight, it really wasn't. Uh, I, I felt really confident, and it helps me when I've kicked earlier in the game. So to be able to have some extra points, another field goal, another short field goal, that was really helpful for me. Um, and then that gives me the confidence that Brinkman's going to snap it, Grayson's going to hold it, and I'm going to see it. Um, just being able to see that over and over in the game – really calms my nerves. So on that kick, on the short kick, I was glad it was short, honestly. Um, that made it easier for me, at least today. We heard a lot about how everyone leaves you alone but before kicks, and, and that calms you down. What was said to you after the kick? Because the game wasn't officially over then, but the vibe obviously was positive. Yes, it, it was great. It was really fun coming off the field. There, there are a few people that are always standing there. Goose is always standing there. Matt Cavallaro, always standing there to greet me. Um, Kirby Myers, our FCA director. So there's a big group of people that almost always meets me. Um, really, make or miss, they meet me. Um, so just to see them, especially after be a big kick, was pretty sweet. Anything said to you in the locker room? Did you get a game ball or anything like that since it ended up being a game winner? Not tonight, but um, still thankful, very thankful to be able to play a part. In case they're going back and forth touchdowns, and then like – kind of becomes clear, I think you probably caught this too, it might be a field goal game mm -hmm. because of the way the score matched up too. Do you ever start thinking about that? Like a lot of touchdowns that might need a field goal. Yes, um, and, and that, I mean, it's just something you think about throughout the game. And I, I tried to, uh, to, again, remove myself from scenarios and very simply try to do my job. But even tonight, I think 
maybe nine or eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. I let myself think about it a little bit and try to be prepared. Um, and again, just pray it out and try to give that result to God. You want to have some fun too. Everybody else is having fun, offense, defense, things like that. Is it just kind of natural just to, hey, let me get out there and do it? It, it, really, it really is. Um, and again, it, it helps me when I, I'm kicking consistently um, and being able to get out there early in the game um, really calms me down and, and settles my nerves. And it's exciting when I get out there, especially late in a game. Just with your unique background coming up through a soccer school, just if I'd have told you five or so years ago that you'd be hitting game winners for the Mountaineers, what would you have said? In re- people have asked me this before. I think in reality, especially like a 10-year-old me, would have agreed with you and been like, oh, yeah, I'd definitely be doing that. But when I, when I look at reality um, and look how God put this together, like, there's no way. Um, and I'm super thankful for that to be able to, and I was thinking that even before the kick, after there were a few timeouts, um, just the, the gift and the opportunity to play for WVU, because that's my home, um, was something really sweet. So in reality, no, I could have never dreamed of it. You said you were wondering what your mom was thinking. Hey, did she get on the field? Did you get to see her? No, or? she was not on the field, which is probably a good thing. But um, she, uh, she, she struggles. She definitely struggles. So I, I assumed – and I, I'm not sure if she watched, honestly. So that's typically the, the discussion after big kicks or bigger kicks is whether she was able to watch or not. So when I head outside after we're done, I'm sure I'll hear, hear, I'll hear about that. Did you try to find her in the stands like before you walked out for that kick or no? No, in general, I know where they're at, um, but they're, when they're here, they're generally higher up. So I, I know where they're at, but I just tried to push that out of my mind um, and, and hoped that seeing them after the game would be a good time. So after a, a big kick.